in today's video, we are going to do a DistroKid tutorial, just going over a few features that you can find in DistroKid. Um, I'm going to try and cover as much as I can here. So bear with me. It's going to be a bit of a longer one. So let's start off with the obvious, most important uploading your music. So if you click on upload music, you will be presented with the screen here. So the first thing that you're going to be hit with is all the services. This is all the stores that you can decide to tick or not tick that your music will be distributed to. As you can see here, we've got TikTok and we've also now got new additions of Snapchat and Roblox. The next topic is the number of songs, which you can upload anywhere from one to 35 songs. Then they want to know if this single has previously been released. Is this a re-release? Yes or no? We can just skip this. This is the quick advertising panel that they just got to squeeze in there. Now they want your artist or band name. Um, in this section, you can also opt to randomly generate a name. And this is usually not going to be full if it's your first time releasing. After that, we go to release dates. You just want to put in the date you want to release usually a week in the future then of course you can insert your record label the language of the track and the primary genre you can also add an optional secondary genre next up we go to the album cover make sure to follow these recommended settings over here make sure that you don't have barcodes web addresses um, parental advisory signs just the image and the quality recommended now from here we are going to add the song title or if it's an album you'll have options for album titles and you'll do this for each individual song as well as being able to add now featured artists so in the title no featured artist name only if you opt in on the next stop and then you can also add in your version info is this a radio edit is this um i don't know a remix make sure to set it here and here you can see a little preview layout to see what it'll look like and then you can upload the actual audio file now you also have options to add your own isrc codes or master your track with mixia and we'll get into that a little bit later now here you'll see you have options for is this a Dolby Atmos release or is it not? Is this a cover song? You would need to pay extra for cover songs. And next up we are putting in, is it an instrumental? Is there music and lyrics? The songwriter's full, real government name, guys. No little tomb cheese here. Then they need to know, does the song have explicit lyrics? Is the song a radio edit? Is it an instrumental? And then a very good feature that not all distros have is the preview clip start time. So you can set the best parts for the preview of your song. And then of course, track pricing for iTunes and Amazon. Then we come to the optional extras. So these optional extras can be the social media pack, things like YouTube content ID, TikTok content ID will be covered in this pack and you will pay extra per album and per single. Discovery pack is for things like Shazam, Store Maximizer is for new releases, Leave a Legacy is so that your tracks can stay up if you miss a payment which is a feature i think i've pointed out enough that i completely despise and then you have a few other things like loudness normalization and so forth they are going to want you to make sure your card details are correct so they can bill you for these optional extras and then just tick all of these boxes if you are complying with them you pretty much have to if you want to release here and they will give you a full-on preview of what your information is going to look like and that pretty much covers releasing 
your actual track but there's so much more than just releasing the music that's just step one so we're gonna skip refer a friend and go over to stats now i haven't released anything here but this is where you'll get your daily streaming stats and you can basically track how well your album performs and in the next tab we have splits uh, this will allow you to easily split payments between all your collaborators that are using distrokid key word here there will be no commission fees for distrokid users and then you can set up your percentage splits and so forth um, if you do want to split with a non distrokid member they will give you a 50 percent discount coupon for that non distrokid member to join up with the distrokid so i'm very interested to see how that works out if that person doesn't want to join distrokid so next up we have the upgrade section and here i can also show you the price plans i'll change these from pounds to dollars on the screen somewhere over here and you can see all the features you can see that different plans come with different amount of artists i would say if it's possible skip the musician plan and go straight over to musician plus it's just musician is highly lacking in features and then of course if you're looking at something like ultimate it would be more for somebody who's managing multiple artists because five to 100 artists can be covered on this account and a lot of the things here are geared towards somebody managing multiple artists all right so and now we can hop over to the bank and here in the bank is where you can see all your income basically all the money that you've made using distro kids be it from referrals like you see over here be it from singles be it artists there are specific filters for each so you can break down what money comes from where and how much you've withdrawn and how much you have available to still withdraw so as much as i hate distro kids album extras what i can say is that their platform is really really fleshed out there's a reason they are at the top of the game even with those album extras and their platform just shows so earlier i mentioned that you can have your tracks mastered with distrokid and this is done through mixia they have partnered with distrokid in order to bring mastering to all of their users however this is a separate fee and i will again put the dollar pricing on the screen as well and they do allow you to upload one track for free i guess just to give you the ability to test the service but from there on out it is full-on payment i don't really like ai mastering but if you're not very good at mastering give it a go now, DistroKid also has a separate service called DistroVid, and this is a service I can say I prefer. DistroVid will allow you to upload to all the most popular video streaming platforms, though the main one, of course, being Vivo. However, again, that is its own separate fee, but you're going to find this all across the board unless you're using something like Ditto. Now, DistroKid has again another partner in Banzoogle and they will allow you to build really great websites for your music, for your catalog, for your shows, whatever you want the website to be. And they will give you one month free with Banzoogle and DistroKid. Though I do believe that you don't need to be a DistroKid member to get the 30 day free trial so i don't really know what that's about but if you want to set up a website really easy banzoogle distro kid they go together like peanut butter and jelly now if we check in the get heard now tab there is a wheel of playlists where you can spin a wheel and stand a chance to go on to one of distro kids playlists and then a playlist spotlight allows you to opt in tracks to get voted 
onto the DistroKid community playlists, which I guess is a is a cool feature, but I don't really know anyone who goes to the DistroKid playlist and is like listening to that. Though I could be wrong. I that's just my point of view. Don't um, don't come for me, I guess. Ah, now in the promote yourself section we get into some more of the meat and potatoes of distro kit with hyperfollow hyperfollow basically allows you to make like a link tree i don't know what it's called i'm not good with words anymore but the thing is this is geared to music right so it'll give you a hyperfollow link which you can send out to everyone on your mailing list, put on all your social media and route everyone back to your hyperfollow. And here your fans can get a little bit of info on you, your location, your title, um, put a nice image in there, a nice bio, and then you can add links to maybe your latest single that you've released or an album that you want to draw traffic to. You can also add all of your social media links and embed those short video clips, embed little clips of your music. This is a really great business card. Now again, where I have to give DistroKid props is it's trying to do a lot. It's trying to give you a lot more than most distributors do, especially with things like, for instance, this mini videos. Again, a little digital business card for your music using small videos that you could promote on your TikTok. Now I wanna jump off the promote section quickly so we can look at special access. This is something you're gonna wanna jump on as soon as possible. So you can get your verified check mark on Spotify for artist. You can get your TikTok artist account, which is a new feature. Um, Apple Music for Artists, set up your YouTube official artist channel so that your tracks are not going to a topic page, but going directly to your YouTube artist channel. And then another small little thing, I'm, I'm getting really into the small little things because these things add up. Spotify canvas generator, generating good professional looking canvases for your music. It just, it puts you up there with the big name artists of course your music does the talking and then we are going to circle back to the referrals because this is a really cool feature i guess yes it benefits distrokid but it also benefits the actual distrokid users and potential future users as well so for every referral link you send out like we do ourselves um you're gonna get ten dollars for every paid sign up so as you can see we've got four people who signed up using our link and i want to say thank you to those four people for signing up we really appreciate it we hope you are getting the most out of your distro kid subscription do let us actually know in the comment section is it great is it trash anyways you'll see there we've earned forty dollars so this is going to be just another thing that can help you on the side as an artist to bring in a little bit of extra revenue. Another nice little feature that I see here that I'm assuming is new because I haven't seen this before is that we can also send out referral links to give students a 50% off discount. Yes, I see here it's limited time. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, we have a referral link at the bottom of this video. So if you want to check out DistroKid, and by the way, you will get a discount on your subscription. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you. I did try to keep it brief, but you know I have a serious rambling problem thank you so much for watching do consider liking and subscribing and having an amazing evening